good to see you again. I'm hoping that you are with me and you are feeling really good this morning. I know it's a little bit drizzly outside today, so I'm hoping that we can have a lot of fun in here so that we can cheer ourselves up a little bit with that drought, like really dreary weather. So we are gonna do skills block again today. Maybe you got to do this with me last week. I don't remember if you were able to come or not, but I hope you were. So my name is Mrs. Millsaps, and I have a whole class of second graders at home learning just like you. So today we're gonna to be working on our skills block, and we love skills block. Skills block is when we talk about words and sounds and letters and vowel teams and blends and even sentences. So we're gonna jump right in today and we're gonna look at what you need for class today. So if you're gonna be prepared, you need your quiet learning space, your paper and your pencil, or a whiteboard and a marker, and definitely don't forget your thinking cap. You're gonna need that today. First things first, let's look at our learning target. That's so important, you guys, because that is what is gonna tell us what we're learning today. So can you read the learning target with me? Today, it says, I can sort pictures with a three-letter consonant blend at the beginning of the word. The second learning target says, I can write words and sentences using three letter beginning consonant blends. Okay, so let's think about the action. What are we doing here? Okay, I can sort, yeah, we're gonna sort, and I can write, exactly. So today we're gonna sort and we're gonna write you might have noticed that something is a little bit different about our blends today. If you were with me last week, we were talking about two letter consonant blends. But this week, if you check the learning target, how many letters are gonna be in our blends this week? You got it, there's gonna be three letters in our consonant blends this week. Woo, that's gonna be a lot, but I know we can do it. All right, let's jump right in. So you guys probably remember what a blend is. If you don't remember, that's okay, we'll talk about it. But you know what, that is the silliest thing. You do not need a blender to make a blend, which a lot of kids just thought that was so, so silly. I'm wondering if you can tell me what a blend is. Do you remember? I think you remembered. A blend is a two consonants, but today, you know what? It's not going to be two anymore. How many is it going to be? Three. You're right. It's when there are letters super, super close to each other in a word. They're so close. Now, they're not touching to make one sound, but they're so close that they blend together. So let's take a look. This is your alphabet chart. You guys have probably seen this a hundred times before. So on our alphabet chart, we have vowels, and consonants. Now you guys that have been watching probably already know this, but to my new friends, this is something so, so important. The vowels and the consonants are the two types of letters that we have in our alphabet. The vowels are the letters A, E, I, O, and U. That's it. The rest of the letters that are not circled are consonants. So that's super easy, guys. If you know the vowels, then you also know the consonants because they're all the other letters, right? So I'm wondering if you can find a consonant on this chart. I see a rainbow. It's not circled. It's not the letter A, E, I, O, or U. It must be a consonant. What about you? Do you see one? I see a sun. Oh my goodness, that sun is making me feel even better and just putting me in a better mood already. And that is also a consonant. Well, these blends are made of consonants. So let me show you what I mean. This is the word blend. The first two letters of this word blend are the letters B, L. So this blend is at the beginning of the word right? And that's where all of the blends for today are going to be. They're all going to be at the beginning. The way that a blend works though, you guys, is 
each letter still says its very own sound. So in this word blend, say it, blend, each letter still says its sound. So let's put each sound in the sound box. Now I'm not talking about putting letters in a box, I'm putting sounds in a box. So you're gonna need to use your ears for this one. Let's chop up the word blend, are you ready? Let's say it super slow, b l e n d Okay, so if I stretch it out like bubble gum, I can start to hear the different sounds. Let's put it in the boxes. The first sound I hear is b, like b, right? And if we keep going, b l e n d right? All of those sounds together, when you put them on one word, they make the word blend. Okay, are you guys ready to try some games with our blending? Okay, I know I'm the world's best trier. I bet you are too. Let's try to sort some pictures with blends. Okay, so here's the game for this one. This game is called Clip the Blend. I bet you guys in your classrooms have used clothespins before to clip onto different cards. We're going to do that same activity, but we're just going to do it on the computer. So let's look at the picture that we have here. This is a picture of a sprout. Can you say it? Sprout. Good. Okay, now I'm looking for the blend at the beginning of sprout. Hmm. I see S P R spur S T R stir S H R sure hmm S C R skr S P L spool and T H R thur hmm okay let me say the word sprout again and listen really close sprout I think I hear the sp -r, sprout that's the one I heard too. S-P-R goes with sprout. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, these kids are splashing in the rain puddles. Maybe that's something you can do today after our class. Splash, say the word. Splash, good. Okay, let's see if we can find the blend that goes with splash. Say it slow. Spl. Yes, I found it too. S-P-L sounds like spool and the beginning of splash. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, that's a shrimp. Say it. Shrimp. Ooh, okay. So I, sh, sh, I know that S-H makes that sh, sh sound in shrimp. Ooh, I hear a sh and an er, shr. Do you see it? Yes, it's right down at the bottom. Shrimp starts with S-H-R. Good job. Ooh, this is the number three. Say it. Three. Okay. Th, that, oh, I know that sound. T-H sounds like th, th. And then if I, th, if I put an er sound on it, then it's T-H-R. Yes, you got it. Okay, here's another one. Ooh, a yummy, yummy strawberry. I love strawberries. Okay, let's see. Stir. Do you see it? Point to your screen if you see it. You got it. You found it. It's S-T-R. All right, now this one is a scroll. Can you say it? Scroll. Ooh, say it slow. Scroll. Scroll. Roll. Ooh, point to it. Do you see it? Yes, it's the S-C-R blend. Great job. Okay, now it's your turn. Remember when I told you that you were going to need pencil and paper or a whiteboard and a marker? This is the time to go get that now. Okay, I'm going to give you just a second to go get it while I give everybody the directions. So, in this game, I'm going to show you just part of a word. Your job is to write the word with the correct missing blend. Okay, so the beginning of the word is missing and you are going to find the part that goes with the picture. Okay, are you back? Do you have all your writing materials? Nice job. Okay, let's get started on writing down the words. 
Okay, this is a picture of a little boy who has a scrape. You're gonna have to say it, scrape. Okay, so now I want you to write down which blend would make the word scrape. Would it be S-C-R or would it be S-T-R? Think about it. What do you think? Do you have it? Did you pick S-C-R? Then you're right. Scrape starts with the blend S-C-R. Nice job. Okay, let's try another one. I think you've got the hang of it. Okay, now this is a spring. A spring. They're like bouncy metal things. So a spring. Think about it. Say it slow. Is it T-H-R or S-P-R to make spring? Hmm, what do you think? I think so too. I think that S-P-R is the right blend for spring. Spring is also a season and it's spelled exactly the same way. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if we have another one. Ooh, here we go. This is a straw. Ooh, say it. Straw. Okay. Do you hear it? Write it down. Is it S-T-R or is it S-C-R? Is it a scraw or is it a straw? What do you think? I think so too. I think it is S-T-R. R. S-T-R sounds like str, and if I put the aw sound behind it, I can put it together and make straw. Great job. Okay, erase, erase. Ooh, okay, this little boy is throwing a ball. So the word is throw. Say it. Throw. Okay, think about it. Would it be S? P L or T H R. Those are very different blends. So I'm curious if you know which one would go in the blank. Throw. Well, I remember that the th th sound is T H. Th. That should give you a clue. Throw. You got it. You've got T H. R that goes with throw. Nice job. Okay, here's another one. This is shred. Can you say it? Shred. Okay. Mmm. Here's that S H R or T H R. Which one do you think would go in the blank? Now, this one can be a little bit tricky because they both can make a word, but I'm curious if you can make the word that matches the picture. Okay, so T-H-R sounds like thr, and if I put ed at the end, what do I have? Thread, right. But is this a picture of thread? No, it's not a picture of thread. And actually, that's not the way you spell thread either. So, which one, has to, which one does it have to be? You got it. It has to be S-H-R for shred. Nice job. Okay, here's another one. Ooh, that is a yummy, yummy banana split. Say it. Split. Good, okay, now, which blend would finish the word? S-C-R or S-P-L? Hmm, is it a script or is it a split? Yeah, that's silly, there's no such thing as a script. That's a nonsense word. So it has to be S-P-L for split. Way to go, you guys. That was a really fun game. So we played two super fun games so far. So up to now, 
we've been looking at blends that have three letters, right? And when I put all three letters next to each other, they blend together like they almost sound like one sound. Now, we've been taking words apart, we've been putting them together, we even matched a couple of pictures to the sounds, right? Now, we're gonna take all of that stuff that we've already learned and we're gonna kind of pull it all together to see if we can use it in sentences. But I made these sentences a little bit tricky for you. These sentences are all scrambled up. Ooh, scramble, that has a blend in it. Scramble, hmm. So these sentences are all scrambled up. Do you think you can help me unscramble them? I think so, let's see. Okay, so erase your board all the way down or get a fresh piece of paper because you're gonna need a lot of space to write these sentences out, okay? Okay, let's take a look. These are the words that go in the sentence, but they're completely out of order, okay? So the words that I see are sprout, in, spring, and grow the plants. That does not make any sense, does it? No, that doesn't make any sense. So what I want you to do is I want you to look for the first word in the sentence. The first word should be pretty easy to find because it starts with something really important. Do you know what the beginning of a sentence should start with? Of course you do. The beginning of a sentence always starts with a capital letter. So do you see the word that starts with a capital letter? Look closely. Yes, it's plants. That's the first word, right? Okay, so now that we know what the first word is, let's see if we can find the other words that would go in the sentence to make sense. Plants do something. Hmm, plants, well, they could sprout. Okay, so that's your second word. Plants sprout. What do you think the next word's gonna be? Plants sprout and grow. Yes, okay, so there's the first four words. Plants sprout and grow. I bet you can figure out the rest. Now the last word should be pretty easy to find too because the last word ends with a, you're right, it ends with a period. So that is the last word in the whole sentence. Yeah, I see it too. Okay, so let's see if we can find them. Plants sprout and grow in the spring. You did it. Is this the sentence that you wrote? Let's read it all together. Plants sprout and grow in the spring. Okay, now, do you see the blends? I see some two-letter blends that we talked about last week and some three-letter blends that we talked about today. What about plants? Yep, you found it, it's the P-L. What about sprout? Yep, S-P-R is the beginning blend in sprout. Grow has a blend too. Grr. Yes, grow, G R, you got it. And then the last one is spring. You got it, S P R. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Here's the next set of scrambled up words. Okay, so erase your whole board or get a new piece of paper. Okay, here are the words splitting, he would got three from splinters. Whew, that makes no sense at all. We have got to unscramble these to see what this whole sentence is supposed to say. Now, remember the two tricks that we learned. I bet you can find the first word and the last word pretty easily. The first word starts with a capital letter and the last word in the sentence has a period. Do you see the first and the last word? I do too. The very first word is he. Okay, so he did something. He splitting, 
Well, that doesn't make sense. He three? No. He from? No. He would? Well, that doesn't really make sense either. He splinters? No. What about he got? That makes sense. He got. Okay, so he got something. He got wood. Well, that's probably, uh, that's probably a better choice. He got from? He got splitting? He got splinters. Oh, splinters makes sense, but I also see the word three. I wonder if the word three and splinters goes together. He got three splinters. Yes. There you go. Now, do you think you can find the rest of the words? Okay. Let's see. He got three splinters. What's next? I think so too. From what? Splitting wood. Yes. Great job. Let's see if we can read it all together. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. He got three splinters from splitting wood. Okay, nice job. Now, I want you to take your pencil and I want you to underline the blends that you see in this sentence, okay? So let's look at it. He got three. Do you see a blend there? I do. That's it, I see a T. H R. Good job. Okay, let's do another one. He got three splinters. Do you see a blend there? You should. S P L. Nice job. Ooh, look at that word from. Do you see a blend there? Yep. F R. From. And then the, yep, the last word is splitting. S P L. Great job, you guys. Man, I'm so proud of how hard you work today on a Monday morning. Goodness, so I think that you guys are going to do great tomorrow. I really hope that you come back and join me tomorrow. It's going to be such a fun day. We're going to be looking at more blends. We're going to be doing some more fun games, and I hope that you can join me. Maybe you could even bring a friend tomorrow. That would be fun. Maybe bring your mom or your dad or your grandma. So when you are in your house today, if you see anything with a three-letter blend, tell your parents. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. song but you could literally go to the kitchen and find you a dish towel or you could go and find you a towel from the bathroom like this right or you could go find you a big old blanket right you could go do that you could get yourself a Kleenex or some tissue paper right you could do that or a rubber chicken what are you doing here I don't need that so my name is Mr. Middlebrooks and welcome to another Music Brain Break. I teach at Calvin Donaldson Elementary School to students that are just like you. So let's get started. Hopefully now you have your piece of material, your blanket, your Kleenex, your toilet paper, whatever it is that you're going to use, and let's sing a song with it. Now, can you hold it up just like this, right? Ready? This is the way we bounce our scarf, bounce our scarf, bounce our scarf. This is the way we bounce our scarf so early in the morning. Great job. What if we take it and make a circle with it? Ready? This is the way we circle our scarf, circle our scarf, circle our scarf. This is the way we circle our scarf so early in the morning. Good job. Ooh, get real close. Ready? 
This is the way we scrunch our scarf, scrunch our scarf, scrunch our scarf. This is the way we scrunch our scarf so early in the morning. This is the way we scrunch our scarf, scrunch our scarf, scrunch our scarf. This is the way we scrunch our scarf so early in the morning. This is the way we throw our scarf, throw our scarf, throw our scarf. This is the way we throw our scarf so early in the morning. Can you do it faster? Ready? This is the way we throw our scarf, throw our scarf, throw our scarf. This is the way we throw our scarf so early in the morning. Great job. Hey, you know what? I haven't done in a really long time. I haven't ridden a roller coaster. You guys like roller coasters? Let's take a ride on a roller coaster. Why don't you take your scarf or your blanket or something and just put it on your hand like this? Just on your hand. It's just holding up there, right? Let's take our scarf, our blanket, our toilet paper, whatever you have on a roller coaster ride. Ready? This is the way we take a ride, take a ride, take a ride. This is the way we take a ride so early in the morning. Ooh, roller coaster starts slow, right? This is the way we take a ride, take a ride, take a ride. This is the way we take a ride so early in the morning. This is the way we take a ride, take a ride, take a ride. This is the way we take a ride so early in the morning. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a great day.